So one of the more frustrating things about RVing is something really simple actually. It's having to carry all your RV keys with you. Having to walk around with all your door keys and everything else simply because there's really no way to lock your door unless you're going to hide your key somewhere. So I'm going to do an upgrade here that is going to make our lives a lot easier when we go out camping. And it's one that you can do yourself in probably about 10 to 15 minutes tops. So let's go ahead and take a crack at it. So we are going to be changing out this door lock system with a new system that I just got. We're going to be installing this new keyless entry system by RV Lock, which is the leader in making these things. Now there are some knockoff brands that you'll see. The problem is they don't work as well and they tend to have some pretty, pretty harsh reviews just on them giving out. And this is one area where you really don't want to skimp. This is going to run a little over $200 and it's going to give you a lot of flexibility. Plus it comes with a keyless entry remote as well. So you can lock and unlock the door wirelessly from the remote, which is really nice. They do have a couple different styles on their website, so I highly recommend that you visit their website if you aren't sure of which style you need for your specific unit. I believe this is probably the most common though, simply because the door handle system that's currently on our fifth wheel seems to be the most common system we've seen. So we're simply going to take off the old unit, install the new unit, and go from there. But first, let's unbox this thing and see what we have inside. It is always windy out here. I think I point that out all the time, so don't want any of the plastic flying away. It's a very robust system for sure. So I saw in another review where the only critical feedback that was given is that this back piece that is mounted inside of the trailer is made out of plastic, but it's a very thick plastic. It feels like an ABS plastic, and I don't think you'd really have any type of problem using this, honestly. They've tapered the holes here so when the screws go in they sit flat, but this is a system. Keys are attached with a little zip tie here. the keyless remote and then of course you put the number right here that you would need if you need to get new keys made for it and then they can send you some new keys this is for your threshold you're looking at the lock system right here from the inside this is the factory one just take out those four Phillips head screws And then you're going to remove the two screws from the side right here, right where the latch is. First, I'm going to install the outside piece. Next, I'm going to put the plate back on, and this plate is included with the new lock system. And I'm going to put the new handle. Before I installed the inside piece, I removed these two screws right here, and I made sure that the four batteries were installed, which they are. Simply connect your harness that's fed through the door. It makes a beep when you plug it in. Now I do have to remove this temporarily while I put this up here. I may have to relocate this bracket slightly for my little doorbell system. So 
So I am going to have to reevaluate where I put my little doorbell here. I can move the bracket down or actually just trim the top part off slightly and it will still snap into place. And if you're wondering why I have this little screw here, it keeps the screen door latched in place and from coming loose if you bump it. So it kind of wedges it and puts the little handle underneath this little catch. So let's give the system a quick test. It says the default code is one, two, three, four. Pretty cool. That's also cool. Now what I'm gonna see is if you need the code to lock it or if you just need the code to unlock it. So I'm gonna unlock it. Okay, let's say we're leaving the RV and we wanna lock it. Am I gonna to have to input the code again to lock it? So I'm just gonna hit the lock button. So it will not let you lock or unlock the door without the code. And I guess that can come in handy in case, you know, somebody's trying to play a joke on you and try to lock the system. The nice thing is it's fully manually overridden. So you still have your manual latch here. You still have your manual door latch here. And you can use the two included keys to lock or unlock it from the outside as well. So a problem that I anticipated and I'd seen in another video is that you might have to adjust your little threshold side on the door out slightly to accommodate the new lock. Because as you can see, it doesn't catch. So all you need to do to adjust this is to loosen those two screws that hold the plate on, slide the plate forward a hair, and then you should be fine. So let's see if that works. That's all it took. Look at that. That's very cool. It's latched tight. So you may think that moving that little plate out slightly is gonna cause your door to stick out further, but that's not the case. The reason why you do that is because the latch on the door side now is in slightly more. So you just need to move that piece out a hair so it catches, but it's still completely flush. The door is very tight and everything's good to go. So to program these little keypads, it's pretty simple actually. You're gonna go to the back or the inside portion of the handle itself, flip the switch to the on button, which is flipping it up. Then you're going to press the fob learn button, which is right above it, which is right here. And then you're gonna hear a short quick beep that'll confirm that it's entered programming mode. Press lock, you'll hear a long tone, which sounded right. And then press the unlock button. And as you can see, it works good. So at this point, all you have to do now is press lock or unlock. And if you turn that switch off, it turns off the ability to use the remotes. So that's pretty nice in case you feel you might have lost or misplaced a remote or it got stolen. You have the ability to turn off the keyless entry portion. Very cool. So programming this is also really simple. All you're gonna do is press and hold momentarily the number eight and the lock key at the same time. When you do that and release, you'll hear a long beep. After that long beep, you're gonna put your factory code in, which is one, two, three, four. Once you put your factory code in and hit the lock button, you'll hear a short beep. Enter your new code, hit the lock button, then re-enter your new code and hit the lock button and you'll hear a long beep and you're all set. And if you wanna know, my new code is 9999. And guys, I've moved around the RV quite a bit and stepped back pretty far, and the range on this thing is pretty impressive. So I'm probably a good 10 feet from it now, which isn't much of a test. But now I'm probably a good 50 feet from it, and... It 
Works really good. It is a little loud though. Guys, I gotta say, this is probably one of the quickest and most simple installs I've ever done. And I know from a pricing perspective, 200, 250 in that price range may be a little bit more than some people wanna spend, but it more than makes up for it just in the fact that it only takes five minutes to swap out. And it really, really adds a ton of convenience when you're out camping so you don't have to lug a bunch of keys around. One thing they absolutely recommend is that you don't leave the keys inside of your RV. Keep them on you, keep them in your vehicle, put them in a hiding spot, something just to prevent you from accidentally locking your keys, which are your backup system, inside of the RV in the event that this malfunctions or you have some type of a problem. But all in all, it's a great looking system. It functions very well. I love the fact that you get one remote. I wish you got two remotes, but one remote's fine for now. You can always go on their website and buy a second remote. However, this is a really cool system and it's going to come in really handy. Another thing I would like to see is if this went all the way from zero to nine. That way, if you have a code that you're used to, you can put that code in. You have to kind of be creative with your code and come up with something that only requires eight digits and no zero. But all in all, it's not that big of a problem to have. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will put a link to this product in the description of my video. That way, if you want to purchase one, you can go ahead and do so. It's a very convenient item. I know other people have reviewed it and they've all had positive things to say about it. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you again very soon.